Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through the concept called molecular orbital theory. Now this theory assigns electrons into a molecule and these electrons that are in a molecule are to some extent be arranged in series of orbitals which results in them belonging to the whole molecular orbital so this series of three series of orbitals are all related to the specific atoms that are involved in the formation of the molecular orbital. Now, looking at the formation of hydrogen gas, as both um, atoms come in contact, what happens is that there is a combination of the two 1s orbital, uh, orbitals or I will call it wave functions which is expressed as this particular symbol here and this combination of these two 1s orbital wave functions results in either a constructive formation or a destructive process. Now this constructive process is called constructive interference and constructive interference involves the adding of two mathematical functions. On the other hand, you have destructive interference and destructive interference, what that implies is that you have the subtraction of two mathematical functions. Now, let's look at constructive interference. Now, in constructive interference, the adding would result in a greater probability of finding an electron or electrons between a nuclei which are the two hydrogen atoms that are involved in this recombination and um, therefore the increase in electron charge density will be equal to the drawing of the atoms closer together Now, this is shown mathematically um, as follows. So in here, the formation of constructive interference will be represented by the symbol sigma 1s. And this is equal to a mathematical function which involves the 1s of one of the hydrogen atoms interacting positively with the other one s of the other hydrogen atom which is represented as b now we remember that electron wave function transforming wave functions into probability density involves the squaring of the wave function so in this case here we are going to square this whole wave function in order for we to get the probability density which is equivalent to this. So 
in this case once you do this solve for this particular um, mathematical function what we get is 1 s a r squared plus 2 1 s a times 1 s b plus 1 s b squared this is kind of similar to a plus b squared equals to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared quite similar in terms of solving the operation so what we get is that this results in an interference that is shown in this diagram here um, don't follow me please let us stick it here yes no come on nice so in here we have the two nuclei with its own electron density coming closer together and the addition which is a constructive interference creates an overlap in these two atomic orbitals which result in these two in this called the sigma 1s of a molecular orbital this formation of this particular new molecular orbital is called the bonding molecular orbital and this um, formation of this molecular orbital is enhanced by this particular um, expression within the resulting function or I'll just circle this one because they are both equivalent so the addition of the or the inclusion of this particular little function results in this particular formation of this molecular orbital and if you can actually look at it graphically what it shows is that it shows a um, plot which is revealed as this where this little amount here shows a huge electron cloud present between the two nuclei, nuclei A and nuclei B. Now furthermore, the properties of this molecular orbital that has been formed includes the following. First, there is an increase in the electron density or electron charge density between the atomic nuclei secondly we have a decrease in the repulsive force between the positive charged nuclei which is the presence of its protons and finally we have an increase in the stronger bond being generated after the two atomic nuclei recombines as a result we realize that a sigma bond which is in which involved the one s orbitals a sigma bond we realize that this is at a lower energy which means that it's more stable than the individual 1s orbital
or individual 1s atomic orbitals of the individual hydrogen atoms. And that is about it for constructive interference. On the other hand, we are going to look at destructive interference.